You know, they are old. <laughs> I mean, it's undeniable. Like they've they've they're rolling the dice on the old guys. And it's a risk. I think a lot of people think that, you know, staying together uh, with the big three is less of a risk than rolling the dice and right. going in another direction. I think they're both equal big risks. Yeah. It's a risk. Paul played 59 games last year in the regular season. But I I do like him with that second unit. I do like he's it a lot. He's just got to stay healthy. He's just got to stay healthy. And he's got to get along with everybody. Yeah, that's another well, part. Like That's yeah. a real element of this team. People well, have to get along. Well, the chemistry feels better right now. Well, that's the first day. But he just got to Chris just Paul gets there. Well, I know. But when Chris Paul, Chris Paul gets in that locker room, I think there will be some respect saying, hey, okay, this guy's a Hall of Famer, first and foremost. The guy's legit. has been doing it for a long, long time. I think that Hall of Fame respect from the Hall of Famers or the Golden State Warriors will be applied to Chris Paul. And I think they'll give him that proper respect and that proper space to say, hey, look, man, we're all about trying to win a championship here. This is what it's about this year. We're trying to get you your first ring to maybe put the cherry on top of your career. <laughs> that is the... You're wearing a cap today, and I'm going to call out cap. Why, why is you that? You think Draymond's going to look at CP3 in the locker room and say, "We're trying to get you a ring"? Like that's no, 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 that's no, 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 Draymond's no, motivation. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Not literally. That's but like the tenth step, thing step, on his mind. No, no. Sure, don't, don't be fair to Draymond Green. I think Draymond Green's like, look, man, we want to help you get your ring because we want to get number five, but we also want to help you get a ring. And <laughs> yeah, okay, I think that, Steph Curry that too. That makes more sense. Steph Curry too. But no, that's what it's about. That's what it's about is getting CP3 a banner. Hey, you're, we're bringing you in here because we feel like you can help yes, us get I'm, another banner. Yes, absolutely. So, so that's what it's about. But to say that the guy, I thought you meant like the guys were motivated to get him his first well, I think they're motivated. they're motivated for themselves. Well, they're motivated to wash away the stain from last season. Yes, that I agree with. Now, here's what Steph Curry said. He was speaking about Steph, or excuse me, CP3 and Jordan Poole yesterday on Instagram. Here's Stephen Curry. And the trade is actually final. I felt like I come on here and... Just say to JP how much I appreciate the four years, brother. You're a champion. Uh, you grew up, you know, right in front of everybody's face in terms of, you know, that first year where it was, it was rough, a lot of injuries, and it was trying to find your way to going to the G League and coming back and helping us finish 15 and five down the stretch of that your second year. That's winning a championship your third year and fighting to the end, you know, this past year. So can't wait to see you blossom, big fella. Can't wait to see you shine in your own situation. And just looking forward to, you know, competing, obviously, but being a fan of, of everything that you become. Good luck to you. And, you know, CP, can't wait to rock with you, brother. It's going to be different with us on the same side. Let's get it. Let's get it. Did you hear the change of energy in his voice once he finished saying the required Jordan Poole stuff? Like, he knew that he had to do something. God, he's such a better person than me. It felt it felt very hollow at the beginning, though. I love it. I love I knew you got. I knew you were going to take I that love stance. The dude, but come on, I knew you were going to take that stance. When Steph Curry said something last week, it was like you know we brought in CP3 to help us win, and it was felt like a shot at Jordan Poole. Now Tim Kawakami was talking about his Game Seven speech and how that was the start of the off season. Basically set the tone, uh -huh. saying, hey, look, man, it ain't about you guys individually. It's about the team, the team, the team. Now I sound like Bo Schembechler Shem ah, from Michigan. Curry's too perfect. Every now but, and then I want to be like, good right. riddance, just to right. be human. I knew somebody just was going to pick human. that apart. Laugh a little. But he is excited for CP3. Of course he is. Because you know he's not going to turn the ball over. <laughs> he's not going to force shots. And Jordan Poole, you know what? A change of scenery for JP is good. No, I think it's it the best is, for all parties. Perfect. That he I get agree to go with. flourish on his own with a new team. It's him and Kuzma's team. There's no, hey, I need to fit in with the veterans. I need to fit in with Dre, Steph, and Clay. All this stuff. You know what? Jordan Poole gets it gets to do what he does in Washington, and he's going to average a lot of points. He's going to be able to take a lot of shots. He's going to be a star out there in uh, Washington D.C. Also, they got a good strip club out there. I think it's uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what is it out there in D.C.? Man, they, I, I your lower know. extremities were compromised. That's what I worry about with JP. Him and Kuzma. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, Kuzma's wild. Who's a good guy? They got my guy Delon Wright, City College of San Francisco. Stand up, man. Delon Wright out there. It's going to be a fun team. I'll be watching Washington. It's not going to be a fun team. What, what I'll be watching. Yes, it will. This is what we do in like. Yes, it will. Paul buckets Jr. will be having a good coach. Coach. Pool. Dude, There will be I will, buckets. I will be watching some Wizards basketball at times. They're going to be fun. They will. Who's the coach over there? Uh, They just fired Scott Brooks. I think it's West Huntsville Jr. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> right? 
What's I'll take your word for it. I don't know. <laughs> Over under twenty five. What wins? wins for them? They'll win thirty. It's the Easter Conference. They'll win thirty. I like the the Israeli guy they got a couple of years. Uh, Avdia. Oh, he's playing I good like defense him. out there. He's playing good defense. You laugh just because you don't watch basketball, Shaskin. You know, oh, look, it'd be crazy. No, no one is good. I'm just telling you, the Wizards, they will they will find a way to get Jordan Poole in the final month of the season to not play so that they can tank to get a better spot. I can see, I feel bad for the guy, dude. He's he's going to the, the NBA seller. This is it's bad. They had all that time to edit a Washington Wizards jersey onto him, and they didn't do that yesterday. They didn't? No, what well, they said, welcome Jordan Poole to the Washington Wizards. Yes, well, sun sales. See, I told you, I watched my league pass. I know what time it is. So they're they're a league pass worthy team for you. We had the Wiseman watch, right? You don't think Warrior fans are going to be watching Jordan Poole? Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. How many Warrior fans are going to be checking out Jordan Poole to see what he does? Because every time he balls out, the Warriors lose. You know the calls are going to come in. You gave up on Jordan Poole. You gave up on Jordan Poole. Man. Look at 510 Comcast are, Business Text Line. are crushing you on the 30 wins for the Wizards. <laughs> hey, hold on. I, I'll bet it right now. Washington Wizards, I'll make a live bet on the morning roast. Okay. Uh, Washington Wizards over under win total. Okay. Let me see what it is here. Zucci oh. Man wants that smoke. Oh, you know what? Zucci Man's birthday. Happy birthday Happy to Zucci birthday, Man, Zucci too. Man? Uh, win total. He was wearing an A's jersey when I met him. Zucci great Man's, guy. He's a great Zucci guy. Zucci Man's a real one. Thank you, Zucci. He's my guy. It's going to be anywhere from 24 and a half right to 26 and a half. Yeah, I nailed it. I said 25. Yeah, I'll take the over. For a guy that doesn't watch League Pass, boy, sure tapped in on the betting lines. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Wow. Wow. Look at this. It dropped. No, it went up. It went up to 28? 33 and a half. 33 and a half. Yeah, I'm taking the under. Yeah, I'll take the under on that one. <laughs> if it was at 25, I was going to slam the over right now. Right now, I was going to slam the over. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna slam the over on the twenty five. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sam Blumen. Don't, don't forget my credit card, uh, dude. It was, I didn't have my credit card for like seven days. Thanks, buddy. And I thought everyone took Apple Pay these days, and I realized very quickly they don't. No, they don't. Some places do. Most hey, don't. Spadoni, what do you see for win totals for the Washington Wizards? Like mine? Yeah. Oh, probably around thirties, right? So that's where I'd probably feel comfortable, but. To your point, I think the addition of Jordan Poole, they'll get some wins because their offense will actually, I think, be pretty damn good. They just have no one else outside of the guys I just mentioned. I mean, Kuzma, Jay- Poole, Avdija. I don't wow. know if I'm Do we think that their win total is 35 and a half? Yeah, under. 35 and a half? They so better get some fire. East kind of stinks, though. Like, That's we were gassing saying. up the East. That's like, it was like, way better than the West last year. That's the West is so much deeper. What are we doing? Is Come Boston on. better than they were last year? I don't think so. Your I think boy, the Marcus Grant Smart Williams got paid. Yeah, well, Marcus Smart, that's a big trade. It They're is. putting all the stock into Porzingis. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. All right. Philadelphia, what's going to happen with James Harden? Miami. Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen with James Harden. He's going to be partying with the Fanatics owner who also owns the 76ers. He's been buddy buddy with that. Oh, Michael dude Rubin. Yeah. Yeah. And he's throwing the other party in Vegas, as Jason Dumas spoke about. The party in Vegas. Dude, I'm telling you. The Eastern Conference, Philadelphia is not the same. Who else? Boston's not the same. Miami's not the same. Atlanta, Knicks. are they better? Knicks got uh, DiVincenzo. Can I can I can I read a text? Sure. Undisclosed. I'm not going to. No, no. Say the name. Nope. Why? I would love to be a fly on the wall during the first road trip with the Warriors. That CP3. That plane ride's going to be like the first day of school lunchroom. CP3 is going to be holding his tray, looking around where to figure out where to sit. Think he sits smack dab in the middle of the core three table. And then the next thing you know, they're elbowing him like, nah, you're not sitting here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it is. I think he's going to try to position himself right there with them. I think he's going to be next to Steph. Steph will bring him in. So he's moving Clay or Dre out of the way so that CP3 can Steph, sit next to him on the plane? it be Steph, Dre... In CP3, Clay's always doing his own thing on the plane. What's that always lunch table meme thing. that everyone used to do where you put the different people at the oh, lunch yeah, tables? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I remember people used to do that. Oh, no, you can't sit here. Sit in. Wait, they did that to you? Oh, of course. It was, but I had my own crew. We had our oh. own thing going on. And by the time our senior year came around, it was like, oh, man, Big Dog City, front office. You know, these guys have fun. They have a lot of fun. We need to hang out with them. So, you know what it is. 
But some people, people try that stuff. That's why when I grew older and I see kids get bullied or whatever, I'm like, yo, get over here with me. I will wrap my arms around them like, yo, come hang out with us, man. I didn't like that. I, that, that stuff's weak to me. Oh, man, you're too cool. We can't sit at your table. Why? Come on. Man. Don't be a jerk. That's what my yeah. principal exactly. said. Freshman uh, commencement right. speech. For all the freshmen coming in, his speech and, to everyone was, don't be a jerk. Embrace those guys, man. So embrace does he just kids. take Iggy's spot on the plane? Maybe. Maybe. 510 Comcast Business Text on I've been watching James Wiseman because I like the way he plays. I've been watching Jordan Poole because I like the way he plays. So I'll be watching both of them. Oh, okay. I'm a Detroit and Washington fan. And, of course, I'm a number one go-to-state Warriors fan. I just want those guys to do well. There's going to be people watching James Wiseman a lot next year. Probably. They'll be watching Jordan Poole a lot. Yeah, probably. Damn, that Wizards win total is high. Yeah, it is. High. 35 and a half. Tells you the betters know something. JP and Kuz are never going to be getting buckets, dog. The Warriors win total 51 and a half. If I told you to bet the over under right now and the Warriors win total 51 and a half, what are you taking? The under? Just because of health. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take the under. Yeah, I am. Just, I mean, to expect the, like, if I were to ask you right now, what do you think the over under is in terms of all four of them playing games together? 55? That would be great. 60? 60 would be awesome. 60 would be awesome. Well, what do you think the number is? I think it's a pro. I got them winning 50 games. 51 and a half. I'm, ugh. That game and a half is tough. <laughs> uh, Matt Barnes joined Willard to Dibs yesterday. Uh, and here's what he had to say about Chris Paul, how he makes young teammates better. He just makes the game so easy. I mean, you start with Tyson Chandler, who he helped, uh, you know, turn into a, the defensive monster and the lob threat he was. And then you look at what DeAndre Jordan was able to accomplish with Chris Paul, with the Clippers, Capella, and Houston. So everywhere Chris goes, he makes those teams better. And that's not just me saying that because he's my neighbor and our kids are best friends. Uh, you look at the records of the teams he goes to, and they, they get better every time he makes a pit stop somewhere. So uh, he just makes the game simple. He's a great passer, a, a great reader of the floor, a great surveyor of the floor. And he's never played with shooting like he has in Stephen Clay, then and maybe another power forward with the uh, the passing IQ and the ability. I think obviously Blake Griffin was a great passer and a playmaker, but I think Draymond is a better playmaker and a passer. So Chris plays well with guys that know the game, think the game, and don't just play the game. The guys that see the game, and that's what you know this core group does. All right. I don't think anyone denies what Chris Paul can do. The questions are are not what he can do. We know what he can do. Questions is how often can he do it? Meaning the health. And can they get along with everyone? Well, here's what Matt Barnes said about CP3 and Draymond getting along. I think sometimes you may think you don't like someone because of the tenacity or the way they play. or But I look at Draymond and CP uh, uh, very similar as far as leaders. Obviously, uh, Draymond is a little bit more outspoken. But at the end of the day, they both want what's best for the team. And I know that for a fact that's what CP wants. I mean, he's, you know, he's on the back nine of his career. And I think he's looking to get into a situation that, that best fits him, that he can still, you know, demonstrate uh, what he can do. So I definitely feel like, you know, I've heard Draymond in the past that he's not a fan of CP or whatever, whatever. But I've heard other guys say that about other guys until they actually played with them. And then they ended up getting along well. So I have no doubt that, you know, CP and Draymond will be just fine. I have no doubt. That's from Matt Barnes. You want to question Matt Barnes? I'm not going to question Matt Barnes. Oh, I'm not going to question Matt Barnes. Biscuit. But to say that, I have a little doubt. I mean, I think that's fair. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm to not have that questioning doubt. him. I'm just saying, like, I think it's fair to have. A, I mean, they had a pretty tumultuous chemistry season last year. No, no doubt about that. For a variety that. of people, we no doubt put, about put that. Put JP to the side. No. There were like Kaminga. four or five guys, no. six guys that were frustrated with their roles or maybe just the chemistry on the team in general. Um, so, I mean, to say you have no doubt, I would say I have a little doubt. Not a lot. No, I'm just not mad at that. Now, the biggest question around here, because we love talking about who comes off the bench and who starts. Oh, my gosh. We love that. Even though it's about who finishes the game, not who starts the game. Matt Barnes on if CP3 would be willing to start the game PG off one? the bench. I think at this point, Chris is willing to, to, to do what needs to be done. Uh, there's never necessarily been an ego with Chris. Um, I think his, his, his resume speaks for itself. And, again, he un understands the, the, the situation he's going into and, 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 and what this current team has accomplished and, 
and, and, and the standards they've set. So whether it's starting, whether it's coming off the bench, I really still feel that CP can add some value to this Warrior team. So No ego do, for CP3? So have we misunderstood Chris Paul? <laughs> have we done that? Because I was talking to Darrell when the trade went down. Darrell, right, I gave him a call. I was like, man, yeah. what do you think about the deal? He goes, you know, CP3 is a good dude. And I take Darrell at his word. He's not going to cape for anybody. Okay. He's not going to sugarcoat anything. Darrell's like, you know, Chris Paul's a good dude. He's a hell of a player. Have we misunderstood Chris Paul? I know we see the antics. We see the flopping. We saw it from Boogie Cousins. We accepted him, right? There's still Warrior fans begging for DeMarcus Cousins. To this day, may him, he may come back. Who knows? He's a guy who's 6'10". <laughs> He's balling in Puerto Rico. Have we misunderstood Chris Paul? I think a lot of people are going to... The way we mm -hmm. embrace Richard Sherman, I could see us embracing Chris Paul just like that. Well, yeah, we did. And then it ended ugly as well. well you guys still embraced him, though. With Sherman. But, but it was saying. here, too, with Sherman. We're only asking Chris Paul for one season. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. We, we, we will see. Everyone has oh, ego. Oh, this is the part where I di I'll ah. disagree with Matt Barnes. Everyone has ego. Some bigger than others, right? Everyone has some ego. That's just, it's unrealistic to say that people don't have ego. And when I look at someone like Chris Paul, who has an entire marketing campaign wrapped around his split personality, Cliff Paul, you cannot tell me that that man doesn't have an ego. It's, like, of course he does. You don't get to the height of sorts. And I don't think this is a bad thing. I'm, I, yeah. I want to make sure this is clear. This is not a bad thing. I'm a big believer in like, I want the ball as a wide receiver. I want the ball as a shortstop. You have mm -hmm. to have that kind of ego. Right. To be a six foot point guard, in the NBA for you almost 20 dog. years. You gotta be a dog. Think of the confidence you right. have to have. I'm not saying it's a yeah. bad thing. I'm just saying to say he has no ego is just absurd. Yeah, well, he's got an ego, no doubt about it. All these players have egos. There's no doubt. But I think Chris Paul understands what the mission is. He understands what the mission is. Well, he is. has to play nice, you know otherwise what? he won't well, be able to he get played, another. He played nice in Phoenix. Oh, and they went to the damn NBA Finals. All right, we forget that. And we talk about Chris Paul like he's not a 12-time All-Star, 11-time All-NBA. Nine-time NBA All-Defensive Team, six-time NBA Steals Leader, five-time NBA Assist Leader, two-time Olympic gold medalist, and a top 75 player. The Warriors just traded for a Hall of Famer, who still was efficient last season, shooting 37.5%. What was Jordan Poole's three-point percentage last year? Not good, 31? Yeah, it was Westbrook levels. Yeah, this guy shot 37.5%, and Chris Paul will probably see, probably see a lot more wide-open shots. Chris Paul understands the mission here with the Golden State Warriors. And the mission is, is to win a championship. I think I think we're going to overblow this thing. I think Chris Paul is going to be, by the end of the season, Chris Paul will be the least of our worries.